It's happening. My friends brought me their third generation 4Runner. Not sure what year it even is, 2001 maybe. Um, but the alternator is bad. I'll verify that on video for you with the multimeter here. But this is a real simple job. The alternator is very easy to get to, so let's crush it. So we've got the parts here, some of the tools. I'll show you up close and a multimeter. Let's get her done. There you go. Part number. This is a real easy job. Um, I like to do the tools afterwards because then I know exactly what I used. I used two different socket wrenches there, the 12 millimeter crescent wrench, the screwdriver is the pry bar, and then this uh, to get the electrical kind of um, cable tie like housing thing poked off the back. And then these are all the sockets I used, a 12, 14, and then a 10. I've got that extra nut because this one came with one for the power there. But uh, yeah, that's all you need. Alternators right here. There's a 14 millimeter, 12 millimeter. There's a bolt on the bottom, two electrical connections, and then it should pull out pretty easily. So let's see how it goes. Actually, it doesn't seem right. I'm gonna shut it off and see. Okay, this battery is brand new, so I'm guessing that's the reason they took it to AutoZone, they put it on a computer, and the computer said that the alternator was failed, or has failed. So, I was expecting more like, you know, 12, and then nothing more changed when it was started, but it was showing 15, now it's showing 13. Maybe it's just bad, but still functioning, sort of? I don't know. But either way, I'm going to pull it out. Okay, so I ended up using one of these because if you can see this wire housing doesn't give enough space for the socket head. <clears throat> so this fits much better on that bolt down there. And as you loosen it, I'm going to show you that moment here. This alternator has play and kind of swings down in that way so you can pull tension so you can pull the belt. So just do that. I did pull the nut from the 12 millimeter down here. I'm about to pull this. You've got to remove this plastic covering for the wiring. And then there's also a clip back there, if you can see it. I'll show you in a second. All right, so that's the plastic housing. Pulled it off from right there. That's a 10 millimeter bolt, so pull that out. Okay, so I had to kind of wrestle with that wiring harness, but uh, there's a little lip down there that you can get a screwdriver on to kind of push it while your thumb is fingering the little tab. Kind of a pain, but uh, unplug that, unscrew that from there, and we're good to go. All right, so I got all the bolts out. 14 millimeter bolt, 12 millimeter nut on the bottom. That piece, it's hard to see from here. You can kind of just see the edge of it. That bolts out, so this is just swinging. So, as soon as I pull on this, it'll come right out. All right, that wasn't too bad. Let's get all the way in there. Okay, so I've got that nut on the tensioner um finger tight just so it can't fall out i'm basically going to rotate that upper right hole in the alternator to meet the mounting bracket on the left and we'll stick that 14 millimeter bolt through there oh, beautiful that's what i'm talking about <coughs> All right, so I had to loosen that bottom bolt for the tensioner a little bit more down here to get the belt back on. Um, yeah, 
I'm not sure why exactly, but whatever, it doesn't matter. You can loosen that a little bit more, slip this over. Uh, make sure it's on your other pulleys down there nicely, and they look pretty good. So I'm going to start tensioning this. Once we get it up to tension, you can see how loose it is now. So I will deal with that and get you on the flip. All right, so I got that tension where I like it. I want a little bit of play. You don't want to burn the bearing out, but tension while still being loose. <laughs> Mechanics make a lot of sense, like these yoga instructors. And then we'll reconnect the electricity here. And then the last thing we'll do is connect the battery. And we'll do another meter test, fire it up, see what's up. Yeah, hopefully that's it. Okay. Definitely fluctuating a lot here. 12 and a half. It was an ugly startup last time. I don't know this vehicle that well, so I don't know if that's normal. But we'll start it up and see what we get here. Sounded way better. Okay. All right, that's it. It's good to go. Real easy job. Toyota is the absolute best for all these reasons. All right, that was a perfect job. That's what I really want to see when I'm doing these types of stuff. So I'm not really a mechanic. Um, so, you know, I'm always hesitant when people ask me to fix things. But this was nice. This is super easy simple out with the old in with the new a couple of bolts nothing complicated um but yeah appreciate you guys hanging out like subscribe i'm doing some wood videos as well um we've got a wood shop i'm starting now so check out some of those doing epoxy stuff uh you know walnut slabs all sorts of cool stuff like that so check out those videos as well i know my page is all over the place but who gives up thanks appreciate you guys